Hello Virgo, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Virgos, so keep that in mind. I'm going to see if I can pick up the, the energies from the last time, from the last reading, or I may pick up a totally different new energy for Virgos. But this is for Virgo, starting November 2018, Virgo. Starting November 2018, Virgo. Full Celtic Cross, Virgo. Do you shuffle these prior and meditate on your sign? This is for Virgo. Starting November 2018, Virgo. Hoping for a pleasant reading. And if we get some negative cards, we'll work through it. We'll see what we can do. But let's see what the incoming energies are. Incoming energy. Magician in reverse. You may be dealing with someone who's manipulative um, and knows, knows they're being manipulative. It's not like an accident. This person um, planned this situation, whether you're doing it or somebody else is doing it. There's a manipulative situation in the beginning of this reading, coming towards it in the beginning. The subject at hand is the Two of Wands. This is decision making and take, taking domination of a situation, taking control. It's crossing it. It's the Knight of Wands. This is someone who has a lot of passion and energy. It could be a fire sign or someone taking on that energy. It could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It also could be somebody who's coming in and out of your life and they're very undecisive in relationships or anything in general. They can't be pinned down. And it could be that you're trying to take control of the situation of a person who is unable to commit, pin down, or just sometimes acting even erratic. But they have a lot of energy. They're, they're back and forth, back and forth. Your goal is to, to obtain a victory with the Six of Wands. It's a good card. It's a good goal to have. Foundation, the Hierophant in reverse. This could be about a relationship um, that didn't work out. It could also be a contract that didn't work out. Or something that you thought was etched in stone didn't work out. Because the Hierophant is in reverse. I will clarify these as I go. I want to see what's going on. In the past, there was an argument, a fight, an argument, and it was put to rest. In the near future, Three of Wands, you're going to feel like things are taking off very uh, very quickly in the next week or so. But I said the first week of November, maybe a little bit further out, maybe two weeks. I'll clarify these. But I want to lay out four more. And the reason why I'm laying out four more because it's usually the outside environment and the distant final outcome. I'm trying to get these all in. Larger cards always a pain. I gotta move this salt lamp. I use this salt lamp for clearing. If you're wondering what that is. Sometimes I can take in too much energy. And it gets rid of the negative energy, keeps the positive. But what we got here, like I said, you got the two of wands with the uh, knight of wands there. And the knight of wands is in reverse. Why are you there for Virgo? What is going on here? It's like a control type situation. Why is it there? Not offering you or you're not offering someone a cup of love, friendship just yet. Could be because this person is indecisive or they're not offering it to you because they're back and forth. And I get another card for this. For the Two of Wands, the Knight of um, two, two of Wands, Knight of Wands, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Definitely trying to take control of the situation. There he is again, Knight of Wands. Definitely has to do with the Knight of Wands. Could, like I said, it could be a fire sign. Someone taking on that energy. But like, like I said, they're in and out, in and out, gone. You know, they're there and they speak all kinds of love and promises. And then poof, they're gone again. Then they're back. Uh, they're known for this anyway. Now your victory is the Six of Wands. It is in the upright. That's what you're looking for. Sometimes the goal does become the outcome. 
So it's up to you whether you make this your outcome. It's a choice. Six of Wands in the upright. Why are you there for Virgo? Success. Going for victory and success. Six of uh, uh, Pentacles. Good cards. Six of Wands. Got a lot of uh, strength for you, that's for sure. Now you're trying to gain a victory of a... a there's something like an abundance that did not occur in your life. You're trying to gain success and victory over past situations where you had celebrate before. That's just for a couple of you. Some of you may be trying to give up overindulgence. Maybe you're, this is just for a few of you, maybe you'd be drinking too much or partying too much. And you need to overcome it. Maybe you're trying to become more successful and not party so much also for a few of you. Now, it also could be that you're dealing with somebody who's overindulgent and you're trying to gain a victory with them somehow. Maybe help them out. It's going to be different for a lot of you because I'm, I'm, I am reading for the masses. Now, the Hierophant in reverse is the foundation. This is like a broken contract, a marriage. That, uh, could be an ex. Could have a lot to do with that. But it's about the status quo being broken. Something that you thought was solid is no longer. That's the foundation of all this. The Hierophant in reverse. Why are you there for Virgo? High Priestess. You should have listened to your intuition. You're telling yourself. I should have listened. Or I, this wouldn't have happened. And I get another card for the Hierophant and the High Priestess. I'm trying to shuffle these, getting a little sticky. I'm trying to have your say. You're going to tell them I should have listened to my gut instinct. Should have really listened to yourself. In the past, there was an argument. Five of Swords. Let me see if I can find out more about that argument. Five of Swords. Why are you there in reverse for Virgo in November? Taking a break from fighting in the past. You just wanted to stop the fighting. Couldn't take it. It was making you sick. Or maybe the person you were fighting with was getting sick and they took a break. And I get another card for the Five of Swords and the Four of Swords. But you're a little obsessed over it. I'm thinking some of you may have even been depressed over it. This is a devil card in the upright. This is someone feeling chained to a cer certain situation, people, events. It's got you chained down, feeling like you can't break free. And it's a very difficult card to break free from, but it is in the past. But you, you're going to have to take a break because, you know, whatever is going on is going to make you sick. You know, I know this, I say past, and it is, but it's what's coming, you know, what's bringing all this forward. And maybe you are trying to get over it, take domination and control and a victory and overcome things. Now, in the near future, you got the Three of Wands, but it's in reverse. It's in the very near future. Wands usually is because it's like a fire type energy. Three of Wands, why are you there in reverse? And I mean coming up quickly, it's going to come about. Trying to feel, trying, it's good. This is the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's trying to come out of feeling trapped. You feel like you have no recourses. You feel like things aren't moving. And you're going to try to come out of feeling trapped. And that's where you're going with that success and uh, victory card. You're still going to be aiming for that success for the first couple of weeks. You're going to still be working on this. Can I get another card for the Three of Wands and the Eight of Swords in reverse? You're trying to come out of this trap feeling, something from the past. Maybe you're trying to work it out with someone from the past, or they're trying to work it with you. But you're not on, on the same page just yet, if you are. You're still trying to feel come out of feeling like you have no options. Remember that victory you're going for. Now right here, try to move this up. Just a hair. Hopefully, it gets it all in. Now, this is a possible future outcome. One of them, because we got the near future. Possible one of you want to 
uh, aim for this, or the advice card from the, or the advice card from the universe. And this is a princess of discs in the upright. This could be your energy Virgo because it is an earth element or someone taking on energy. It could be another Virgo, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn, but they're in the upright. And it could be the universe telling you, you know, keep yourself in the upright, keep yourself sound. Keep things going because you know how. You have the abilities to know how. I know when we had that early energy, the incoming energy was a manipulative type situation coming towards you. But the universe is telling you to keep your head on your shoulders because you're able to. And it could be the possible future outcome if you listen to the universe. Now the princess of this, why are you there for Virgo? Queen of Discs, because you were turned around before. You kind of lost your crown a little bit, you know, what you put on your hand, head. The universe is telling you to put yourself straight up, be steady. Because before, why? This is the why card, because you weren't feeling 100% stable. You weren't feeling 100% like yourself. You felt like you lost your power. But the universe is saying you don't have to lose your power. And I get another card for the Princess of Discs and the Queen of Discs. Feeling like this is your energy, totally. The magician again in reverse. Someone is being real. You got turned around over manipulative behavior. Something happened. Like I said, whether you did this or someone did this to you, it got you turned around. The universe saying, turn this situation around to your favor or to think of yourself. Make sure you're healthy. Make sure you think of what's going around you for yourself. Turn this around, even though it's not easy to do. Apparently, you have the ability to do it because I see a victory card here that crowns you. That's your goal, and that could be an outcome, too. Now, what's coming towards you, or the outside environment, the devil in reverse. Someone wants to come out of feeling chained, or they could be very much stuck. I need other card to know. The Devil card, coming towards Virgo, in reverse. Why are you there? So far we had the Devil card twice and the Magician twice. The Devil, why are you there, in reverse, as the outside environment with Virgo, or coming towards Virgo. Could be either or. The Lust card, no desires. This person is stuck, possibly, wanting to, be, wanting to come out of chain. Want to uh, come out of feeling chained. And maybe their desires weren't healthy with the lust card in reverse. And I get another card for the devil in reverse and the lust card in reverse. I need another card to know. This person. Yeah, they're not getting on top of things. This, I'm, I'm thinking this because they're all reverse. It's more of a stuck feeling than breaking away. They're wanting to break away. But their desires, they don't have the mojo or the, the drive because they have the seven of wands in reverse also. This is someone not be able to get on top of things. So someone is feeling really uh, obsessed not necessarily, I'm not going to call them, you know, it's kind of hard to explain. The devil card is someone that needs to become unchained, but they're having difficulty, especially when you got other negative cards surrounding it, like this, especially with the uh, seven of wands in reverse. This person feels like they can't get out whatever, get out of whatever is tying them down. And it could be about anything. Your hopes and fears, Virgo. You're afraid you're not going to get your happiness. That's a fear. That's a legitimate fear. Why is the Nine of Cups reversed for Virgo? Prince of Wands could have to do with the Prince of Wands in reverse. We're having a lot of Wands energy. You're afraid you won't have happiness with the Prince of Wands energy. Like I said, it could be a fire sign or just someone taking on that energy. We all have fire in our chart somewhere. But the Prince of Wands, why are you there? With the happiness in reverse. You're both in reverse. Why is that there? It's a legitimate fear. This person may be in your life that you're stuck with it. You're just stuck. 
Your fear is that you won't get happiness with this Prince of Wands type energy. And that you may get stuck and not be able to get out of a certain situation just waiting around. Now, final, final distant outcome. You got the Empress in reverse. Things may not grow the way you want them to right away in the first part of November. I see that. I can see that. You got to aim for your goals, Virgo. You got to aim for that victory. Some of you are feeling stuck and unhappy about someone from the past. This is probably this Venus in retrograde we have been having, but it is leaving first, like around the first week of November. So let this play out. Let this energy play out. Whoever's coming towards you, they're going to let you know how they're feeling. They're feeling stuck and not feeling good, and they can't seem to win. This is someone that's going to affect you yourself that's coming towards you mostly. Someone from the outside, whether it be a lover, family member, friend. And you yourself are going to find out you need to make a decision. and Maybe break it off for now. I don't see any death card. I'm just seeing someone is really kind of in trouble emotionally. And they may be using manipulative behavior, behavior, lying, trying to get by with whatever's going on, but they're losing their power. But you yourself are going to gain, you're going to go for the things you want in life. You're going to say, I'm going to do me from now on. I feel that. Now the Empress is in reverse. This is someone you're, you're thinking, this isn't going anywhere. This isn't growing. I'm not getting anything out of this right now. First part of November. So I would let this energy pass. Because, like I said, Venus in retrograde, is, it's leaving us. And it needs to. I like to see it gone. But the Empress, why are you there in reverse for Virgo? What's going on? Yeah, you're not you're not going to deal with the uh, lover situation the first. You're going to feel this way in the first week. Mostly the first week of November. You're going to feel like, this is, I don't know if this is worth it. That's what you're going to feel like. Nothing's coming out of this for me. Can I get another card for the Empress and the Lovers in Reverse? You're done arguing and having strife with whatever, and you're taking like control again. This is the Two of Wands again, the ending energy. You're going to take control and domination of the situation. You're sick of whatever was happening in the past. You're like, I'm sick of it. I'm taking, I'm taking control of the situation. And I'm kind of doing me right now in the first week, first or second week furthest out it could be second week but I'm thinking for this Venus and retrograde it's got everybody thinking about the past things coming back from the past situations feel like they will never end but they will I promise you do what you're going to do take control Virgo um, read that, go back to that last reading for October because I know you're going to gain some kind of victory your goal is that victory and success to overcome this abundance that wasn't working out. And this could be addictions. It doesn't mean that you're addicted. It could be that someone else around you is addicted. But it could be that you, that you some of you are, a few of you. But it's going to be different for everyone. But you're feeling like it's not changing. It's just not growing. And now I need to make a decision for myself. So... That's your reading, and I'll be back again before the mid-November, hopefully, my health holds up. <clears throat> and I will get back to you. And just go for that victory and make your decisions. And try not to let life get a hold of you, you know, and mess you up. And that is your reading. Talk to you later. Bye.